All right, you're checking out the Opie and Anthony program. It's, uh, it's uh, I don't know, it's 16 degrees in New York City. I opened my big fat mouth yesterday. Yeah. I saw Anthony out in the middle of the darkness uh, coming to work. The darkness. Every once in a while we'll meet. Yeah, the front door. That's like one of those real coincidences. No, it's not even a front. Uh, not even the front door. I, I got you down the sidewalk a little bit. Oh. And one time I, I scared the crap out of Anthony because uh, yeah. Anthony's uh, always always on edge when he's walking to work. Very on edge. So now, like uh, I saw you yesterday, and I'm and uh, you're ahead of me, and I'm like, Anthony, Anthony, <gasps> Anthony. Yeah. Oh, uh. Just so it doesn't scare you, because at one point I came up behind you. Hey, dude! And you jumped in. What? I know. And Anthony rarely yells at me or, or, or raises his voice, but he's like, Dude, you motherfucker, you fucking scared the shit out of me. Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Audio of Anthony. Right. <laughs> it's me. Oh, my... <laughs> and, uh, you know, you didn't have your hood on. You weren't all bundled up yesterday. No. And I'm like, man, look at this, Anthony. Look at this. Spring is in the, in yeah, the air. I move. said it yesterday. I'm like, I was walking with a little uh, fleece, nothing. Yeah, light, we didn't need anything. Light gloves, barely, yep. you know, and uh, and I'm I'm talking about we finally made it through uh, this stupid winter. Because yep. for New York, it's been an awful winter. It really has. It hasn't been really, really cold, but it's just yeah, been... It has. It's just been kind of that just same temperature day in and day out with no real breaks. I mean, in New York, we get breaks. We get some, you know, warm-ups. And we got a couple, but nothing like we usually do. And um, I'm just like, oh, we're finally here. Look, mm -hmm. look, look how we're walking to work. It's it's, yeah. it's going to happen any day Great. now. And it goes, uh, it's going to, like, change starting now. Yeah, middle of the day. Maybe just... I should, you know, watch the weather on TV. Yeah, occasionally watch the weather. I listened to the news on the way in, so I, I knew it was coming. And then uh, I got home yesterday, blizzard. Yeah. Goddamn blizzard outside. I just went to bed. I hibernated yesterday. And then uh, this morning, the the commute in, just ice everywhere. The Long, uh, Long Island Expressway, which uh, is usually, even in snowstorms, pretty good. Uh, just uh, the, the left and right lane were uh, covered with ice. So everybody's in the middle lane. You get those people. The middle lane's fine, but you get people that don't want to do over 35. Yeah. So now it forces you into the right or the left lane, which is icy. you got to go real slow, but fast enough to pass the car pain in the ass people cause an accident i know if you're in arizona listening to this you're like whatever dudes but you know arizona where they all they're all happy when it's snowing look snow they get those occasional yeah. snowfalls we just want to share playing. in our misery so it's 16 degrees today and it snowed all day yesterday and then then it turned into rain and then the temperature dropped so yeah everything is iced over and yep. it just is a pain in the ass and uh so i pull up uh, to the uh, station this morning and i'm met by a commando Yes, yes. Dude, I swear to God, I thought I was living a, a video game. Come I'm like, do I up. shoot? Do I run? Is do, he, is he, do I have to talk to him because he's with me? Right. Do I scale the building and see what happens next? <laughs> Did this, it feel like a real live uh, video game this morning? Does he have a new weapon for me? Right, I exactly. I just have to talk to him and I'll get a new cool weapon? Exactly. Yeah. It was uh, Poe, but you couldn't... Of course it was. You couldn't tell it was Poe because he, he had some kind of... I don't know. It was like a paintball outfit on. That's the only thing I... That's the only thing I could, right? A paintball outfit. Yeah, he did. It, it, was, it was, you know, I should say uniform, I guess, but it was his paintball outfit. He's got the the face mask on. Completely covered. Yeah, because it's cold out, you know. So he's wearing the uh, he's wearing the stuff to keep warm, but it did kind of look like he was ready to play paintball. And it looked like he could just take a weapon out in a second, and yeah. he's like looking to the left, looking to the right. Oh yeah, just scanning the area. I saw him when I passed uh, by, uh, doing about 50 uh, in my truck, and I saw him standing out there. I go, oh yeah, that's right. Poe is now meeting us out front, so uh, there's no no problems, no problems with some people or anything. So uh, he asked me if he you know wanted to uh, escort me for for the entire length of my walk, and I'm like, nah, I don't need that. I kind of like the the little stroll, and you know, I could see him down the block anyway. So if there's a problem, I just gotta you know. It's getting hot in here. You know, I'll just yell down the block, and he'll be there in two seconds. I'll yeah. sprint up and yeah. beat somebody up, but I don't need him there for the whole walk. It was quite impressive. It was a it was a, a impressive display this morning. So. He told me when I when I uh, here he is. He told me when I when I uh, got up to the door to go in. He was like, "Good morning. Opie has not arrived yet." 
Like, oh, okay. Kind of something I don't know until I actually get up to the sign-in book. Right. And I see, oh, Hughes. There we go. Opie's here. Dude, you just now gave everyone right my last door. name. Ah, oh, sorry. What's wrong with you? I screwed up. Is, is there anyone that doesn't know that? <laughs> oh, really? Greg Hughes? Ooh. I know. That's what people... Got me. That's what people do when they feel like they know us. Yeah. Greg Hughes and Anthony Cumia. Oh, oh you got me. Wow. That hasn't been did reported. A, did a little research, did you? Yeah, you Googled. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> anyway. Paul, you like your new uh, new post in the morning? Or? Yeah, it's not too bad. The reason why not I wear bad. that mask is yeah. it was very cold this morning. It was very cold. Extremely cold. You wouldn't wear that on a day where it wasn't freezing, right? No, of course not. No, you got to wear that every day now. Oh, you want you yeah. like the yeah. commando mask? Yeah, that's your thing. Okay. Even if it's 80 degrees oh, in the middle geez. of summer, you got to wear that because it's really impressive. <laughs> I'd rather no no uh, mask, but maybe camouflage makeup, something like that. <laughs> Just hanging out like a a commando. Yeah, it, it looked like you were ready to hijack something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I was wearing my jacket. I just wanted to. So the jacket, you were able to identify me, right? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Dude, trust me. We, it says we, it says my name on it. Dude, trust me. We can identify you. I pretty okay. much knew I'm, it was you when I turned the corner, yeah, the, okay. you know, there, one block away. There were no other commandos walking in the area. <laughs> yeah. I, I, there, there was no doubt in my mind that was Poe. It's like, hmm, <laughs> which one is Poe? The guy standing there with the uh, commando mask on and, and, the, and the jacket looking all stout and ready to kill. Or the guy that wet himself laying on the sidewalk. Who looks up every once in a while and goes, who are you? Yeah, who are you? <laughs> ah, when you walk past him, they're like, ah. There was a guy that, that used to stay in a vestibule, but I guess it was too cold for him. Yeah. And he sometimes yells out things at you when oh, you walk yeah. by. I don't like that guy at all. Dude, Might have to tune him up there, it, Poe. It's like, uh, it's like 12 monkeys out there it at that really hour. Is. It at that hour, it's is. 12 monkeys. 12 monkeys. How you doing, Bob? Yeah, they just <laughs> they just come walking out of nowhere and up to you and stuff. Yeah, I see. Who's watching you, Bob? <laughs> right. It's in the tooth. It's in the tooth. That movie gets better and better the more you watch <laughs> I it. I love Twelve Monkeys. The first time I saw Twelve Monkeys, I was like, what? 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 It takes a couple of viewings to even understand what's going on. Yeah, yeah the whole. Time but then it's just uh, it's just a very very interesting movie. And, very cool. And we live Twelve Monkeys at yeah. four in the morning. It's the, it's the world of Twelve Monkeys. Yeah. So, but going then, to the station, Bob. Thank yeah, you. yeah, going to the station. Maybe you should be undercover in the morning, though. Maybe you should be one of those bums just laying in the doorway. Because maybe you're a little too obvious. Uh, that's good, though. It's a deterrent. Well, you know, I, I noticed that the uh, the guys that normally walk the streets, they were going across the street. They weren't walking on my side. See? He's a deterrent. They were. They were crossing the street. Uh, that's what, good. Man, what's up? Jesus. You look like a fucking psychopath when I pulled up. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you, I, man. No. Yeah, it's, we should have got a picture of your outfit. Yeah, can we get a picture for the website? Yeah, sure With no the problem. mask, and it's just dark, and you're standing out there like, you know, when it gets legs When it gets open. warm, can you just wear the gi? Stand out there, imagine that. Just, like, throwing air kicks and stuff and spinning back fists. That'd be cool. <laughs> My cab driver was like, who the hell is that guy? You know, he's just looking at him. Oh, yeah, uh. you want to find out who he is? Go ahead, <laughs> screw with him. Yeah, you should just do, like, warm-up moves while uh, you're waiting for us. 57th will just be completely <laughs> deserted. Right. Everyone's walking down the other avenues. All the cabbies, all the streets. All the cabbies are taking a quick right right before yeah. the right before the building. The busy one of the busiest streets of Manhattan becomes empty. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like they're filming a Tom Cruise movie. <laughs> they gotta clear everyone out, right? What was that movie? Vanilla Sky? Yeah. Yeah, sure. That was a that was a stretch of a reference, but thanks for going with it. Uh, anyway, thanks, Paul. My pleasure, guys. Uh and another thing really fast uh, before we move on. Steve, the Bernie Getz freakout that's been yeah. is kind of becoming a, a bit legendary. Oh, it's great! I, I listened to the audio, laughed my ass off. I love the you motherfucker. Well, we didn't we didn't have we had cameras rolling, and then it was like it was just one of those things where we kind of you know put the the cameras down and went about our interview or whatever, or hanging uh -huh. with Bernie. And it was one of those moments that happened so quickly we didn't have a camera on it because we weren't expecting it until the end, I guess. Yeah. But uh, I forgot we have security cameras in the in the uh, studio here. So um, Steve from FoundryMusic.com and Master Poe, they spent a, a long time finding the actual footage of Bernie uh -huh. Getz freaking out, and then Steve, yeah. uh, you know, synced it up with the audio. 
and it's security now camera. Yeah. security camera, and now it's up on FoundryMusic.com and OpieAnthony.com. Yeah. yeah, it's all linked up. It's all linked up. It yeah. is really funny to, to to look at. It looks cool in that kind of grainy security camera uh, look. It's you know? very very creepy to look yeah. at. It's just because you've got that you know very step by step you know video of uh, of from the security cameras, and those things aren't meant for broadcast. Those are meant for you know. Uh, uh, what's what's the word? Uh, Watching uh, black people shoot convenience store workers. Well, that's too. <laughs> right? Is that what you wanted to say, Steve? Uh, that's pretty much the yeah. look. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Watch was... any episode of uh, wa- police wildest police videos, and you'll see that type of look. You you know what we're talking about? Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's very grainy, and it's you know we did the best of our the best we possibly could. I'll see if I can get a better version, but it's very difficult because there's no audio coming through. No, you know what? Those cameras. The whole grainy thing works. It's just oh, absolutely. It's just yeah. it, it's really cool to uh, to look at. Do, uh, don't you guys have like video uh, at the end of the thing? Yeah, we. What I can do is now go through and and match up two camera shoot. Yeah, basically match up the video that Danny and I shot. To I the would security camera. I would do a, a quick cut to to where your video uh, right. you know takes over, and I think that would be really cool. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. that's 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 the next step of the process. This was just you know. No, dude, you did videos. a great job. It's up on Foundry Music and uh, OpenAnthony dot com. Very cool. Okay. F O U N D R Y music. Good job. Dot com. We were starting to run like promos and commercials for Steve's website, but then the company got really pissed off. I don't even know what the problem was, but they told them uh, what is the the problem? Problem. no more promos or commercials. Same nah, the same problem it was back in the at, at the old station. It's not it's not over yet. That's Separation probably, probably of church and state. Yeah, basically. My yeah. guess is it's good. they'll they'll wind up staying, but huh. but uh, they want yeah. you to pay for it. Is that it? No. Well, they won't actually pay for run. Uh, it's a valuable, valuable tool for the radio program, and uh, who cares? There's a lot of smut on there too. Actually, we moved. That most has of nothing it off. to do with uh, Opie What's and Anthony. Wrong with it? We moved most of most of, most of the smut. Must, the smut is now tastefully done, and we moved all the, all the boobs over to the Rate My Wow tastefully site. Tastefully done. Yeah, how is Rate My Wow going, dude? It's just like it. It's. You know, I heard there was like a million hits the first day. Yeah, it was weird. not unique, obviously. No, it's, it's well, it, it's weird. It's, it's it's thousands of actual people visited. It was like something like nine or ten thousand people in some very short period of time. Hits is is like in terms of pages that people looked at, one point six million nice. in the first day. So that was, there's some awful hits on that. Yeah, they really site, are. By the way, well, it just uh, it, it's it's some just, really good one. It just started, so it's it's a new website called RateMyWild.com. Is that linked on OpenAnthony.com? Yeah, yeah. All right, everything's linked. linked. Yeah, it's yeah. all it's all linked up, and people just keep sending their boobs. And Jeff and I wake up in the morning and we approve the new boobs or disapprove them. Some people still haven't caught on to the fact you that you have to disapprove. Some? No, don't disapprove. No, no, no! You don't understand. You're like someone sends in a random picture of a girl. Oh, I certainly. We don't know okay. who it is. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. No, no, no! It's you don't know who it is. Because it's funny to the, get those horror shows. The like real bad ones are the best. Oh, it's hilarious because yeah. it's like hot, hot, hot. You're really starting to get into it, and then yeah. ah, 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 oh my God! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, that's better. <laughs> this is Homer. Look at that ratemywild.com. Yeah, exactly. As long I don't care what they look like, as long as they they stick to the whole, you know, show your boobs, have a little wow sign. Yeah, it goes up. Well, well, it is whip yeah. them out Wednesday, by the way. And, oh, it is. Uh, I gotta tell you guys. Degrees out. You know, yeah. we live in uh, the New York world here. We understand this is a national radio show, and it's gorgeous where you're listening for the most mm-hmm. part. Who knows? But uh, that's why we kind of just throw that wow thing out there every Wednesday. Like, ah, it's wow. Yeah. Ah, it's wow. But we're not really paying attention here in New we're York. We're selfish, Opie. Yeah, because it's 16 degrees out, so we can't really get into it yet. Yeah, we're selfish. We know that wow is uh, happening elsewhere in the country where it's warmer, and we could help them out by maybe promoting it a little more on Wednesday than we do. But uh, it's not doing us any good, so screw you. Yeah. When, it, when it gets nice around here, then we'll start hitting it a little. Well, that's what I'm st- uh, I wanted to say. Ah, even though it's 16 degrees, spring is right around the corner. Yeah, sure it is. So uh, basically, if you want to participate in WOW or support the radio show, what you need to do is uh, get your WOW stickers and get them on your cars. Put them on your vehicle. Yeah, next few weeks, just just worry about getting your stickers on the cars and the trucks or making your homemade WOW signs or riding it in the dirt, you, uh, you truckers out there. We've mm-hmm. seen that, and it works uh, beautifully. And then we're going to start promoting it a lot better. A lot better. So if you don't have a WOW sticker, you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to, he- to us here in New York. The address is up on opianthony.com, but if you have a, uh, a pen, it's 111 West 57th Street, New York, New York, Suite 500. Oh. oh, you try with that address. You try, and, and he's got to throw something at you like that. Yeah, now everyone's confused. Yep. 
111. If you, but if you just say 111 57th, West 57th Street, XM, Opie and Anthony, Wow Stick, or whatever, it's going to get to us. Yeah. Okay. They'll figure out where it is. Sweet 500. New York, New York. One. Uh, uh-huh. One. Uh, zero. 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 One. Nine? Nine. All right, cool. One, zero, zero, oh. one, nine. That was the most confusing address ever. No one will write that down. No Unfortunately, one. the people that get the address right, they're the ones that are signing me up for classes <laughs> and credit cards <laughs> and everything. I get things here. It's like, oh, mail's in. And I'm like, bad mail from some flounder. flounder. I'm feeling all good. And I get it. And it's these jackasses are signing me up for uh, Columbia School of Broadcasting. <laughs> like, what? You know, I get junk mail here at the studio. We created our fans, and you know, monsters, all of them. They're they're all a bunch of monsters. They're just they're ready to just take over the whole show. Bunch of tools. At this point, they don't even need us anymore. <laughs> they really don't. Last night there was a whole thread on Whackbag about um, how I'm starting to sound like uh, the deep voice guy from from oh, Steve's the Ramon, Ramon promo promos. Sure. And it's saying, you know, because of the Beverly Hills incident and the fact that I'm spending more on clothing and eating better and things like that, you know, making a little more money than I did in the older days, uh, that I'm like the deep voice guy. So they started just doing a bunch of Ramones and then putting something that's appropriate for me at the end of it. And uh, it went on for like five pages, six pages, a bunch of tools. They're just ragging on me uh, on the message board. So I just posted one back. Said something like Ramon, reply to these tools. <laughs> I think the Ramon thing is dead, unfortunately. Oh, well, I still like Steve's. Yeah, the Steve's are good, but the listeners killed that. The bit. listeners really drilled that one in. We, we thought we'd be able to ride that one out for a while, but you guys killed it on us. So now we have to f- come up with something else. Uh, Craig from Whackbag watching the Bernie video, fucking hilarious. Great to have a visual. It really is hilarious. Yeah. You can see that he just jumped up and, and went right at me. Oh, you yeah. can't really see that Eric's between me and uh, Bernie because the, the, the footage is very grainy. Eric taking the bullet, threw himself right at uh, right Oh, and I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I hid right behind Eric. <laughs> There's been times where I uh, have gone after people in the studio, but this instance, I just was I hid behind Eric, no problem. And, and, and Eric held back uh, Bernie Getz. The video quality for a security cam rocks. And notice 35 seconds uh, in, Bernie's pointing his finger at Opie exactly like as if he had a gun. Really? Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be a th- this is gonna be a, a video that a lot of people watch. I gotta tell you, because wow. it's, it's just really interesting. <laughs> really interesting. Where's the 35 seconds? Yeah, pull it up to 35 seconds. Let's see where Bernie has a. Go back. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's start it. He's holding his feet. Oh, oh my wow. God! That would be boom, boom, right there. Oh. It's like he pointed four times. Yeah, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> done for. So yeah, there you go. Check that out on FoundryMusic.com and OpieAnthony.com. So what happened with Reggie Jackson? Because uh, you know, oh, car wreck. Yeah, you know, I know. I, I was reading a little bit about it. Like you know, he's okay, and and uh, I don't know. Growing up in New York, and well, hating the Yankees for the most part. You know, Reggie always had this just massive. Over the top ego. It was all about mm-hmm. Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. I'm, I'm bigger, badder, and better than anyone else. Those were the days. And even when he retired, he still had that same attitude. Yep. Like his shit didn't stink and all that. A uh, great ball player, obviously. Hard to deal with. So you know, it was kind of like uh, you know, crying wolf. So all of a sudden, there's like you know, Reggie's talking about his accident and stuff, and I'm thinking, oh, here's Reggie again. He was, and I'm thinking, ah, oh, he was in a little fender bender, but he's gonna make it a big deal because it's about, about him. Me. And then he's, you know, because he was in this accident, he's back in the headlines, and that's the, you know, that's what he wants in the yeah. end. But then I was reading further, and it sounds like this was a horrific accident. A pretty big wreck. What a, a car hit him going 100 miles an hour? Rear-ended him. I don't know how fast he was going. Yeah, some people have said 100 miles an hour. Like he saw this guy coming up on him, and I guess he was already in the right lane. He's saying so. Then he yeah. pulled off onto the shoulder, and the guy still hit him on Boy. the right side of the car or something like that. And then they both started flipping. Both cars flipped over, started rolling into the median. Like supposedly his car flipped over three or four times. Yeah. And the whole time he's holding onto the steering wheel, going. So far, no injuries. So far, no injuries. So oh, far, because th- those moments take forever. Right. And uh, as it's happening, yeah, it's going through your head like, wow, hey, I- I'm still okay. 
I'm still all right, rolling, but nothing, nothing yet. Until that uh, that beam or or a guardrail goes right through your chest, and you go, "Oh, I almost made it's it!" Like, oh, this is what oh, happens. Oh, jeez, you know, I was rolling and saying, "I'm fine." No, but he, uh, yeah, he he wound up uh, rolling, but but he, he's fine. You know, he's he's a little injured, but nothing bad like whiplash. He should have been dead. An accident like that, someone rear ends you at 100 miles an hour. Yeah, so now I feel bad that I was thinking it was just uh, Reggie being Reggie. Yeah, he still is, I'm sure. I'm sure, it's Reggie being Reggie. Reggie was uh, that was that was like one of the one of the big heydays of of the Yankees back then, when it was uh, Reggie and and that's when the boss, when Steinbrenner was the real prick, and him and the legendary fights with Billy Martin. So it was cool that you know Reggie was in that mix too. That whole. Uh, there's great uh, uh, dynamic personalities of all of them back then. But now he's just like, yeah, he's like a complaining old guy. Every time you see him, he's bitching about something. So, yeah, when he, he had this accident, it was like, oh, what? Right. Oh, who cares? Yeah. But apparently pretty serious. And then, uh, you know, another headline that's all over the paper is Bill Clinton. Yeah, he's having some scar tissue and liquid removed, some fluid removed from uh, the left side of his chest. It's compressed his lung, yeah, the so bottom of his lung. Do they mess up the surgery, you think? Or is this something that just happens from time to time? I'd say it's one of those rare occurrences, but it's routine. They try to calm everyone down. You ever notice calm that? Calm It's like, calm all. Calm all. They try to calm everyone down. It's, you know, it, it doesn't happen to everybody, but it's okay. It's but, but routine. and uh, low, We call it a low-risk procedure. It's elective surgery. This is nothing big. It's Low risk or not, Clinton is aging so fast now. Yeah. So fast. Well, he had the, the bypass. It was so funny because I, I met him uh, just before we started the XM show here. Yes. Briefly in Huntington when he was doing a book signing. Have your picture taken. Very I, proud. I was lucky enough to get a yeah a picture with uh, President Clinton that drives Jim Norton nuts to this day. <clears throat> and yeah. uh, we were all commenting at the time. How awful he looked. And that yeah. was, I think, six weeks before he had, he had his heart attack. Well, he didn't have a heart attack. No, they, he they had, caught in time. Yeah, he had some blockage. And, uh, Speaking of Jim Norton, hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. And they, they wound up uh, doing a, a bypass on what, quadruple? Yeah. Yeah, they did a quadruple but, bypass. What I was going to say, he looked tired and he, he didn't look good. Yeah. You know? But he looked a lot younger when I met him than how he looks now. He looks now. And that's only five, six months ago, seven months ago, whatever. You just assumed it was... Uh, that he's married to Hillary Clinton. And that kind of make you all haggard, tired. They said he also had um, a partially collapsed lung. So yeah, that's what he's got, too. Partially, because his lung can't inflate all the way uh, because he's got this scar tissue and fluid uh, in the uh, left side of his chest. So they're going to go in there and drain that out. And uh, that should reinflate his lung. And he's running all over the globe with the older Bush guy. I was gonna say, trying to keep up with that son of a bitch. I was gonna say, is his is his new butt, you know, butt buddy pal gonna be at the hospital holding his hand through the at surgery? The side. <laughs> right. Come on, we got things to do. <laughs> right. You know, all all concerned about his health. Because no one cared about Bush Senior until he teamed up with Clinton. Yeah. And Bush now, Junior gave his dad something to do. It's right. like, all right, Dad, go off with this guy. Right. And now they're... Uh, that is the weirdest thing, because you just know the Clintons and the Bushes just did not get along. But apparently... When Clinton left they, office and Bush came in, you could just see from the body language of the transitional period that they, hated, they each hated each other. The administration and it was, hated and, each other. And it seemed like it was not just a Democrat-Republican uh, no, thing. personal. It, it just seemed like there was some kind of personal yeah. animosity. Well, the, uh, the Bush, everybody involved in the Bush camp, uh, didn't like everyone involved in the Clinton camp because th they were these immoral uh, young uh, liberals that made a mockery of the White House and, of course, the Oval Office. So you get these people uh, coming in. They just want to get rid of everything to do with Clinton and get back to the dignity of, of, the, of the office. And uh, it took a while, but, you know, they're, they're friends now. And from what I've read... Uh, they're very good friends, and they have what what they've said is they have a lot more in common than they ever thought they did, uh, personally, and uh, that seems to be the basis of their friendship. and And uh, the younger Bush uh, teamed him up with the, his father to go over to the tsunami ravaged. Uh, <laughs> I'm just looking at Jimmy. He's catching up on the news. It's pretty <laughs> funny. It's like, where am I? Where? It's like he's going through his workbook. Well, what we could do, we could take a break and then. Uh We'll say hi to Jimmy. We'll see how his L.A. trip was. Did you sleep, Jimmy? 
No, on the plane? Nah, I tried to duck out a little bit, but I just... Yeah? I, yeah, I kind of just listened to tunes on my stupid laptop. Yeah? It was, yeah. Were you in first class? Yeah, upgraded. Oh. Because the test, the, you're testing, so they fly your coach, but... Uh, yeah? I was, oh, okay. I was Ernest Upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> Ernest Upgrade. <laughs> All right, why don't we take a quick break, and we'll All continue right. with the Opie and Anthony program. We'll say hi to uh, little Jimmy Norton next. Likes. 